Hello, and uh, we're still at home. We're still kind of in, uh, uh, you know, that situation. Um, I thought I wanted to show you something different. Now, you've known me for probably the last couple of years as a landscape photographer on YouTube, um, but I've existed way, way before YouTube um, and landscape photography. Um, you can probably see beside me, there's a load of prints on the table at the moment. Now I am at home, this is our little conservatory area. I've got the blinds closed to try and help the light situation. Um, but I kind of wanted to explain what I was doing before I started landscape photography. Um, I've got into landscape because I enjoy going out. Landscape photography is a great way of getting exercise, seeing the country. I like traveling and being outside and stuff like that. So for me, that's the niche I want to get into. That's what I enjoy doing. That's where I see myself sometime in the future, um, just landscape. But before then, I used to be in a camera club. Now I've mentioned this several times when I've been vlogging and stuff like that, that I come from camera clubs. I maybe sometimes do my landscapes with the with the mentality of the camera club sometimes. Um, I don't want to be like that. I want to do it more for me, which I do. Um, camera clubs have been a big part of my life. I spent nearly 12 years in them. Um, you can see down here, there's an array of pictures. I'm gonna show you what all these pictures are. And I've got a few more sections. I've got a chunk here. Um, I've got a chunk on there. I've got another chunk down there. I've got some different sections. I've sort of separated them out, but in general, these were all used over the last, not the last 12 years, but over about 12 years of photography uh, in camera clubs. Now I used to do digital, which is the PIs, and I also do prints as well. Prints, I used to print myself. I cut my own mounts. I put my own mounts together um, and enter the prints. They're all on a standard size, 500 by 400 um, card which is basically that standard size. Um, that's what they use. You can have any size print inside. I generally worked on about a 15 inch print. Um, but like I say, I used to print them myself and some of them have got some Photoshop work of them. Some of them haven't. I'll go through the scores that I've got if there's scores on the back of some of these. Some of them have been in other competitions um, and entries. Now this one has been scratched. It's done very, very, very well for me. Um, this was in the north region um, of the LNCPU. That was in 2017 in the folio. Um, it scored a 14. Now 14s are quite a high score. They normally score up to 15. Um, that was quite a high score in image. It's also be, been in the LNCPU there in the Federation. And so it's been that one's been around the block a little bit. It's been out on exhibitions and it's been shown and stuff like that. And like I say, it's done, a, it's done really, really well for me. There is actually one on the wall in the other room. Um, so yeah, and it is a bit, a bit scratched, but uh, it was it is a good image. So yeah, I've done different things, um, different genres. I don't stick to one particular subject. I used to shoot portrait, as you can see down there. I've got uh, wildlife. Um, not very good on wildlife, I must admit. Um, we have things like long exposures, stuff like that. So I've got some long exposure stuff on there. Uh, black and whites. We've also got a big black and white section. Oh, and I've got a loose print. We've got a black and white section there as well that um, in the mono competitions. Let's just put that somewhere safe. And I've got a few sports ones up there. In general, I normally concentrate on, or used to concentrate on the uh, digital side of it, because it's easy. You can put your digital images in, but to print them, you have to be quite, well, they have to be quite good. Um, I wasn't the best. Um, when I finished my camera club I'm not going to call it career, but when I when I got out of camera clubs, I'd actually ended on a high and I was the overall winner in our club, Nantwich Club, for PIs and digital. So I come away with a clubman trophy. That meant over the course of the year, over the course of all the competitions between the digital ones and the prints, um, I was the highest scoring overall. Uh, so I went out on a high, which was quite nice. Uh, the last probably four to five years of being in the club, especially the last three, I was scoring 18, 19s and 20s, 20 being the top score, uh, 18s and 19s being like a, a commended, recommended sort of high. So I was getting pretty good scores by the end. So I kind of I kind of feel like I knew what I was doing or I know what the judge wanted to see and I'd got my photography to a level that they were they were happy um, and, and they were using my images in different club competitions. So, so yeah, I mean, it, it, it was good, it was good fun, but totally, destroyed my photography. Um, I know that sounds stupid because I've just said I was doing really well, um, but it destroyed it for me personally. I wasn't enjoying my photography like I should. Um, always, the judge would always say, don't forget you're doing it for yourself. Don't forget my, my score is only my personal opinion. Don't forget that, you know, you've got to go out and do it for yourself and enjoy your photography. 
but if you want to win and you're in that mindset that you want to get the next score or the next point, you're not doing it for yourself at all. You're doing it to win. Once you start to do it to win, once you start to do it for the points, it's not really photography anymore. It's not a hobby. It's not fun. It's becoming a competition. Um, and that's where I was. I'd got to that stage where I wanted to beat the top three. I wanted to be in that top level. I wanted to prove that I could do it to myself. I wasn't trying to prove it for anybody else, but for my own personal thing, I wanted to prove it to myself that I could do this. And if I couldn't, why couldn't I? What was I doing wrong? Why aren't my images being classed as being higher than theirs type of thing? And it was a fine line. You, you, I don't do well on uh, wildlife. Wildlife photography in the camera clubs is way at the top. If you've got a good wildlife photograph, it will outweigh anything you're going to see in here today because I'm not a wildlife photographer and they do highly highly score them very very well um, but yeah portraits I did pretty good on some of my longer exposure stuff the monochrome stuff was also pretty good and uh, yeah landscapes didn't do very well either um, so yeah I, I, I got out of it I got out of it when I could or when I wanted to I'd had enough and then YouTube took over my life and now you see me every week, don't you? So yeah, let me go through some of these images. I'm gonna go through them all one at a time, or not one at a time, but in general, I'm gonna flick through a few and I'll talk about one or two that kind of stands out a little bit more than others. And I'll try and explain why they're different and uh, what I've done with them to try and make them look like that. And like I say, there's a big array of pictures on here. Uh, we've got some simple stuff like, let's have a look. We've got stuff like this. Uh, this was Leah. Leah was uh, a friend of ours. We met her in town and uh, she was quite keen and doing a little bit of photography. She had, you know, she'd done some before, she'd got, um, so we took her out, we took her, me and Denise took her for a bit of a walk. We went to some pretty cool places and uh, we've got a few images of her, got loads and loads of stuff and uh, she thoroughly enjoyed it, we thoroughly enjoyed it. She's such a lovely girl as well. And this image here, this one out of the three I've got there, this one actually did quite well for me. It scored me a 12. It's also down to the title, I called this looking out and it's looking out of the image. And the reason it did well is because it's got a good balance. She's framed inside a frame. Um, she's also got a nice sharp eyes. The expression's good. There's a good tone on the, on the monochrome image and it's framed on a nice, simple, plain white frame. And that's what they like to see, stuff like that. So yeah, it did, it did okay. It got me a 12 in that competition um, and 12 is pretty much a reasonable score. You get up to 15, like I said, but 12 is not a bad score. So yeah, it was uh, not a bad little image. I'm gonna put these down on the floor as I'm talking. So uh, bear with me. And again, these, this, I don't think this one did too well. I liked it, it was a bit different. I've got no scoring on the back of that one. And uh, that scored me a seven, which was pretty poor. They just didn't like the image. There was a, a green tinge to it and it just didn't float the judges boat whatsoever. So it didn't do very well at all, that image. Um, what else have we got? We've got other stuff on here like this. Um, I was a big fan, me and Denise were a big fan to go into Whitby and uh, we went to the Whitby Goth weekends. Again, that one scored me a nine, so it wasn't brilliant, but it's fair game. Um, I did change this image slightly. I softened the background on it and I've got a little tiny tear on her eye. You can't quite see the tear very well, but there's a, a small tear on her eye, which we added in Photoshop because I just thought it needed that little bit of a tear. Um, We've got other stuff as well. We've got simple street photography. This was actually taken on a, on a street photograph. I saw this guy walking up. I was doing an event photography at the time. Saw this guy walking up, grabbed him and said, can I take your picture? And he's like, what, seriously me? And I went, yeah, I want to take a picture of you. And he gave me a couple of great expressions. I put him against a nice plain background. Again, that scored me an 11, didn't do too bad. And uh, yeah, that was one of my favorite shots because it was just random. It was just some bloke in the street that I went and asked. Um, this one didn't do very well. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why hasn't it done very well? This, not got no scoring on the back. This is a reprint um, that I never re-entered. Put this in a grey mount, slightly different being in a grey mount, but I like the tones against. But they didn't like this image. I'm going to get it up close so you can see it. But if you see here, he's got some rather big nostril hairs. And they said it was too sharp. And that's what it's about, you see. Now, I thought that was fantastic. I thought it was great. It had loads of sharpness to the image. But the judge turned around and said, it's too sharp. I mean, how can you win on things like that, really? Um, another bit of a snapshot type of thing, again, um, from Whitby. Oh, from Whitby, we know the young girl. Uh, there was a couple of them that used to walk around every year. So, you know, we're quite on friendly terms when we got, you know, stop them and taking pictures. Um, this one here, I'm gonna show you this because this is this is where Photoshop comes in comes into it when you when you start doing Photoshop and things like that. Now this was taken, you can see it's got quite a soft muted tone to it. I'll show you that. This actually 
is another one of my favorite sort of images i've not got any scoring on the back of these two because they've probably been remounted um this is the sort of stuff that used to do quite well in the camera clubs until everyone was doing it once everyone started doing it of course it just became popular and uh yeah, no one wants to see popular images. Um, but yeah, I took this image and, and at first it was quite good. I put, took him over, I put him next to a sort of a plain sort of wall, a plain background and stuff like that. We know this guy. Um, I actually did a wedding photography um, video once. Uh, if I can find it, I'll put the link up for you. These guys got married um, and we went out and, you know, I've known them for years. I knew them through their engagement pictures. I knew them through their hand fasting pictures. And we also did their wedding photographs as well. So yeah, we've known these for a few years and... Um, so yeah, I took this image. Uh, it wasn't quite right. It didn't didn't sort of work too well. If you see the background there, um, so I changed the background and basically put him somewhere different. So that's what you can do. You can take one image and you can actually change, take the person out and change and remove the background and change the background, and uh, it just seems to work a little bit better. Um, again, something else. Uh, I went on a bit of a model shoot. We've done done a little bit of modelling. Um, Again, it was really good experience. These, this one here, I'm gonna show you this because this done very, very well for me. Uh, this scored me a top score of 20 and it's got uh, some low points on the back, but it actually scored the club 20s and it won the competition and it's also won inter club competitions and it's done very, very well. Um, so yeah, I was quite pleased with this. And again, this is a young girl at Whitby. We moved her over to the side, got her somewhere different, nicely framed, nicely edited. Um, I've got two versions of it. Now the top one didn't work as well as the bottom one or vice versa, I think it was. Um, it's a long time now, but one of them is a different expression, slightly different sort of look on her face. But again, very, very nicely, you know, they're just pictures that the judge seems to like. Um, another, Another person we got to meet, got chatting with, and she's quite friendly with once we've been there a while. Um, she was keen to take a picture, they're the same. There's another one, slightly different style, different sort of look to it. Again, it's just all about the posing, the frame in the mountain. Uh, have we got any scores on this one? That one there scored me a 13. So again, that's a 13. That's not a, not a bad score for an image, really. Um, I did pretty well. We've also got these. Um, these are all... There's two more. A lot of Photoshop work in this. Yeah, well, she was actually dressed like this. Um, there wasn't face makeup, but I brought out the face, popped out the eyes a bit more, looked at the background, changed the background because she was stood next to a, a brick wall at the time. So I've changed the background. Um, and the judge was on about monochrome and stuff like that. Well, that's not actually monochrome, that's a natural color. So I turned it into a monochrome and I made it black and white. And I don't know whether I like the black and white one or the color one best, but you know they really are quite good. Um, this one has actually been in um, the regions as well, the north regions in the LNCPU folio. That was 16, 17. And uh, yeah, scored 11 that one, a um, uh, different competition. So, you know, they do all right. They do all right. They're quite good. Um, what else have we got here? Let's have a look. Oh, we've got a blank piece of card. We'll put that back. So I know where it is. Right, this one. This is the friend of this girl. Uh, they were both friends. They hang around every year with each other and they really do dress up and they look really good when they're out dressed up. Again, this image, I've not got any scoring on the back. I think I've removed all the bits of paper. Um, but yeah, this, this, this done all right. Again, it's another really strong monochrome image. I've changed the background on it. I brought out certain parts. I've highlighted and you know, dark and different areas, but it, she was stood next to a brick wall and it just didn't look very good. But this is the same person as this image. As you can see, she's dressed up, she's got a doll with her and everything, you know, they really do look the part. But again, the background's all been changed, but this did not do very well. The biggest problem with this was the judge didn't like this uh, doorway at the back there. So uh, I ended up changing that doorway and put an actual door in rather than an opening in the end. Um, but that didn't do very well because of that, that problem. But again, that's the sort of things you can do. Um, and one more on these people, so we'll just go through this one. This lovely couple there. Again, change the background because they were stood next to a brick wall. So I changed the background, put them outside the old pub. It looks like they've just come out of the pub and it's, she's not telling him to go home. But we also had another competition called um, Opposites. So what I did is I took these two people and I turned it into this. Now that for me was quite a work of art. Now, not many people like it maybe. Now I was told by this, 
the, the la a, a lady who's very, very high in the club competitions, she said, oh, they would not like this at all. It just so happens they absolutely love that image and they bought that image off me and it actually lives on their wall. So it just goes to show it's, you know, different people have different opinions. But yeah, that's what I did. I've turned one image into two. Opposites being man and lady in the same image. Man and lady dress, man and lady hat. So I have had a tinker with Photoshop. I kind of got into it when I needed to and stuff like that. But oh, we've got a few other portraits, different things. Another street portrait. Oh, look, and there's a picture of uh, me dad. But uh, yeah, you know, we won't say enough of that anyway. Right, so people done. Let's show you something a little bit different. We haven't got much wildlife, so we'll give you a quick uh, insight to some of the wildlife stuff I've got. Um, and I do notice the camera keeps going light and dark. I'm ever so sorry. Wildlife. Um, yeah, not my forte at all. I don't go out waiting for it. I haven't got the patience to stand looking for it, and I don't really know their nature and habitat, really. But this was taken at uh, a local deer park. Absolutely love this image. Beautiful scene, nice and soft in the background, and a lovely bit of foliage in the old deer's mouth. And that scored me a nine. So it wasn't great, but it wasn't a low score. Uh, this one again, this has been up on a wall. You can see it's, it's got a banner on the corner. So it's been up on a wall. It's also been in the South regions in 2017. And that scored me an 11. So again, see, that's not a bad score, an 11. We're quite happy with that. If you score 11s and 12s, you, you know, you're actually sort of getting somewhere. Um, Scottish deer, uh, Scottish deer. Um, Scottish cow, Highland cow. Scored me a nine, didn't do too great. And then we got a 10 from this. Love this image, absolutely love that one. Fantastic little uh, young fox cub. Um, Couple of all my M&Ms he did. Denise fed the lot to him. Um, what else can we show you? I think what I'll do, I was gonna stop for a second. I'm gonna lay out another set of photographs on the table and show you another little set. Right, we're back. That was quick, wasn't it? Right, I've set out another set of images. Um, this is probably my favorite section. Um, this is all sort of long exposure. All by one of them is uh, mono. I think the reason being is monochrome really works with the long exposure stuff. Colors quite hard. You've got to have some really soft pastel colors for it to actually work in color. Otherwise, I'm not sure. It just doesn't quite work. A uh, couple of these images you'll probably recognize because I have shown them on different things in the past on my Facebook and stuff like that. One image is one of my ultimate favorite photographs that I've ever ever taken and framed, um, to be honest. it's uh, I'll show you it last anyway. I'll save it to the end. Uh, so right, what have we got? What have we got? We'll start with a color one. We'll start with a color one. This, pretty in pink, I think I call this. All in pink, pretty in pink. Um, this has been in the Crew and Nantwich Camera Club, Crew and Nantwich versus Camera Club. Uh, that was in 2018. And it's also been in the Chester uh, Photo Society. So it's been in a couple of club competitions. It's not done too bad. I think it scored me a 20 in our own personal competition. That is actually in the natural colors. It's printed on a soft, um, a soft matte paper. And uh, yeah, I think that was a really, really nice image. Looked great on anyone's wall, I'm sure it would. Um, so yeah, that was, that was quite a moment. I quite enjoyed getting that image because a long exposure color is really quite hard. Um, but this is the kind of thing I got into doing at one point. Long exposures, um, I think they're probably, yeah, it's the same pair, um, but just slightly different angles. Uh, they're different ways of looking at it. One's sort of leading across the image and one's leading down into the image. Um, but two very long exposures, that's both of the uh, Aberis with pier. Um, and as you can see, very, very long exposure to get that water nice and smoothed out. Uh, like I say, I really enjoy doing stuff like that. This is one from London. This had a little bit of Photoshop work to it because I had to put all the lights on, switch the lights back on in the top because I need, I think they needed them. There was a little bit of posts and stuff had to be removed out of the water. And there was also some toilet blocks here and I had to take all the toilet blocks out. Um, but that was really good. You can see the clock tower really nice and sharp and it's, I think it's three o'clock or one minute to three, I think it is. Um, so yeah, uh, another quite good image. Very classic, very standard shot of, of London and London Bridge. Um, but again, it did well in the competitions. Uh, a couple of images that didn't do too great. These are a bit blah, didn't really, I don't think I even used that one. I don't think I entered it. Uh, that one did sort of okay. It had some good mentions. They liked all the textures in the water. They liked the nice softness and the flow, but it just, it wasn't quite what the judges were hoping to see. Uh, this one I know you guys have seen before. I've just been down there again, haven't I, this year? Um, down at Penticilla Reservoir, I think it's called. Um, again, nice long exposure, nice and soft. This was actually taken in the rain. 
and that scored me a 10 so it was all right it didn't do too bad um but yeah maybe it could be better and again a nice simple plain frame dark gray with a bit of a white pinstripe border and it seems to work okay we've then got this this has got this has done very well this scored me a 20 um a no-brainer there's a cormorant on the end there and i didn't put it in there it was actually there but this image is completely fake um all by that pier and that bird everything else in that image is pretty much fake i faked the ground the, the, the water because it's a long exposure so that's not fake it that is actually quite real but everything from this line there and over here that's all fake the sky has all been dragged in all the background of the harbour has been removed everything's been blended in it's been softened misted and stuff like that there's a lot of work gone into that quite a few hours of photoshop uh, again it's on the wall in there it's done very very well for me but that's the kind of thing that, that i used to like doing and uh yeah it's just a nice simple plain image you cannot take that photograph that is impossible to actually take that photograph as an actual image um, it doesn't exist it's inside a harbour so it just does not exist at all um, and if you know where it is tell me for a bonus point tell me where that was taken um, what else have we got let's let's show you these three here because we've got three images here all of a similar subject or all of the same subject should i say all of the same subject all mounted and framed slightly differently um anyone recognize that of course you do of course you do it's brighton pier uh brighton pier <laughs> no it's not it's bright it's new brighton lighthouse um where we live it's not far away it's only about 30 miles away i just wanted to do something simple something long straightforward simple soft nice long exposure and nothing else in it the other version i've got of it is this one and I actually prefer this one better. Um, as you can see, it's a slightly, slightly fatter version of it. And I've actually kept in this little marker boy there. And I'm sure this went in a competition. I must have remounted it. Um, but it's done okay. It's it's simple. It's natural. And that little marker point down there made all the difference it just wanted a high key image and again this is done on another mount card with a lovely white background and a pinstripe black border just to frame that image and then we've got one more on the same mounting board which is its sister version and that's the other version it's a square square frame picture one to one beautifully sharp lighthouse nice and smooth nice and soft and even got a bit of a, a bit of a shadow down there in the bottom again that one i think that did quite well that got me a 10 um, in that competition it was in there so it did okay did okay i'm quite happy with a 10 10s actually when they send them off for the inter club competitions actually in the club competition on the night um they get different scores and different times this you will recognize anyone that doesn't recognize this hasn't been to wales <laughs> it's the same image um i think they're printed on slightly different paper um again i don't think this has been inter club competition because i don't think i entered this one this was one of those ones i put together and for me they didn't quite work because the one that did, the one that did work, was that one. You see, there's a lot of difference between this and this. So this is the one that entered the competitions. Uh, I had two versions of it, both printed on slightly different paper. Um, that's the one that went in. That's the one I sent in for competition. That is an absolutely stunning picture, and that is one of my favourite all-time photographs. Um, just love it. Love the tree. Love the place. Lone tree. It's been in the... Um, five towns i think it did all right in the five towns and it's also been the crew and nantwich in 2018 it was in the crew and nantwich competition as well so yeah it done okay judges some judges love it some judges you know they're not sure but yeah it's done okay that and it's a rather fine photograph if i do say so myself and uh, yeah so that's that sort of section done what else can we show you we can show you some let's show you some sport right so sport um, I put them out, I haven't got as many as I thought on the sports section, um, pretty much it's motorbikes and horses on here. Um, yep, flat battery time. So as I was saying, I haven't got a lot in the print sport. Um, this is another one of those subjects where you have to be really, really good at it. I was pretty okay at sport, but I didn't do a lot of the prints. Um, it was more for other stuff. I like the long exposure prints and things like that. So there's a few sports images. I'm going to go quickly through the ones I've got here in print motorbike wheelie bit of atmosphere going on didn't enter it in the competition um this one i did i'm pretty sure that went in scored me a nine uh 
not a bad little shot horse running got in a really great position horse coming towards me i got special permission to stand there and uh, got all the water splashes so that one was okay uh, sticking to the horses another one um, this has got a nine on the back oh this is different you can see from there it's on that way so that's a different score for a different print um, yeah horse nice bit of texture on the horse nice and sharp blah 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 not not very big into stuff like that this one is one of my favorite photographs what do you reckon of that is that good is that good i think it's brilliant look at the symmetry in their feet the balls in there there's movement in the in the stick the movement and the, the sticks kept in at the top really really nice perfect symmetry perfect horses running together absolutely stunning over the moon with this shot really was never done polo before and i thought i've got a winner here did it do well no it didn't why didn't it because the background was too bright you just can't win can you it's got a nine in an interclub competition but uh <laughs> yeah didn't do very well at all and i thought that was brilliant but never mind can't win them all can you but that's the sort of thing that used to get me down i used to put so much effort into it and to get a minimal basic score uh don't think this one's been in any inter clubs but i did enter it in the, the local club competition um just love the the clarity of that water absolutely stunning the way the reflection and the light was shining through the water got all these lovely crisp bits of water and i was stood on the on the beach at the time taking this so uh, yeah, quite impressed with that. I think if I remember rightly, what the judge said was something along the lines of keep an eye on your sky. Your sky's looking a bit bright at the top. Seriously? He obviously didn't know what he was talking about because that's the White Cliff Cliffs. That's not a sky at all, but I get his point. Um, what else have we got here? We've got a, another bite. Look how sharp that is. Absolutely stunning. Uh, that got me a nine in the interclubs. Um, and again, beautifully sharp. What a judge would like to see about something like this is the eyes. Can you see the eyes? Because that is the most important part of that image, really. They like to see the eyes in the visors and things. Nice and stunning, good lines, good shape, good position. And again, this one, look at the eyes on this. You see that? You can see his eyes as clear as you can see mine. Um, even though I am looking at you in the screen and not in the lens. But yeah, absolutely stunning. The wheel's just lifting off the back. You've got all the water droplets coming off the back of the bike. You can see the heat haze coming out the back as well. Beautiful, clean background. It wasn't that clean when I took the image. There was a little bit of something going on down here and a little bit of something going on down there. So I've had to clean it up and tidy it up for a shot. But beautiful. I've got loads and loads and loads of images like that. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. But I never got around to putting them in and printing them. Uh, this I'll put it in the sports section but again it's not really sport um, a young girl and her mum wanted some pictures of them dancing so we went over to Chester met up I can't remember her name over so sorry um, this has actually been in the five towns monochrome print competition uh, back in September 2016 there uh, called it love to dance why is it called love to dance because it's a heart don't tell me you didn't see that um, took the girl took her out the image um, you know literally pasted round, I took her out the image, put her on a plain white background, mirrored the image, nice heavy contrast, a nice lot of clarity to make it really stand out, made it look like a heart. I had this vision in my mind, I'd already seen this on like a Google search of dance images, I had this vision, I wanted to try and create it and I managed to create it. So I got her to do the pose, got her to jump up, got her to spread her arms back and it worked. Absolutely love that image, it's done pretty good. Like I say, it was in the Five Towns monochrome and to actually take your image and use it in the Five Towns into clubs and stuff like that, they've got to be quite good images, otherwise they just wouldn't take them. There's no point taking an image that didn't do well because it's obviously not going to do well for the club. Um, right, what else have we got? Let's go through this. I hope you're not bored yet, but this is this is what we came here to do. Um, just a shot of the local town. This is landscape. I'll tell you what, I'm going to save this section to the end because that's kind of where I am now, isn't it? So I'll keep this section to the end just because that's where it works. Uh, what have we got here? We have got, I think this is monochromes. So we'll go through the monochrome images. Guy on the street, uh, the guy was more than happy for me to take a photograph of him. I took two or three of him, and if he was still around when I went up, I'd, I'd give him a print, I really would. Um, it's done okay. It's The judge was one of the, it's, it's very difficult to judge things like this because sometimes judges see him and people say they shouldn't be taking pictures of homeless people and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. I don't know whether it's right or it's wrong, but the guy was happy to do it. He wasn't the only person I took pictures of, but he was happy to do it and he was well aware I was there. As you can see, he's looking at me. I'm not hiding the facts, I'm not sniping him, I'm not standing on the other side of the street, I was engaged with him. Um, from a baby shoot I did, worked quite well. 
did okay, went to a couple of competitions, didn't really go much further than that. This scored me a 20, this was a winner in the club. Uh, as you can see, it also went into the five towns, so uh, yeah, we know it did well. Um, this was pretty much a snapshot. Um, I can't remember, I think it was Working Life or something like that, I think it was called. So that was my Working Life image. It was a nice, soft, misty. This was taken in the same place as that deer was taken. Saw these guys walking to me, walking to me with, their, with their forks. Quickly got the camera up, fired it off, bang. Got ourselves a, a 20 scorer. Uh, rubbish, didn't do very well at all. London shot, another London shot. Nothing in there, I don't think that one's been re-entered. Over-processed, so that didn't do anything. Uh, this one I thought was quite good. I actually enjoyed make, you know, putting this image together. Pretty much a natural photograph, bit of a good strong monochrome conversion. And it got a nine in the interclub, so it didn't do very well at all. The judge didn't, wasn't overly keen with it. You've seen me down here. Uh, if you look at some of my back videos, you've seen I've been down to Dungeness Beach. This was when it was the conditions were a lot better and a lot nicer down there. So uh, yeah, we've been to Dungeness Beach a few times. I think I've got another one here. Yeah, there's another one here from Dungeness Beach. Um, bit of a misty background. I sort of actually enhanced that and brought that out a bit, putting soft on the background and made it work and made all the foreground nice and punchy and sharp and crisp. And uh, yeah, they've been in a couple of competitions. This is a picture of somebody I've got no idea who it is. We were up on the top of La Trig Fell up in the Lake District and we turned around and the mist just came up. We got a cloud inversion, we got a broken spectre, we got everything that morning, absolutely fantastic. And this guy just stood out to me, really, really impressed with this photograph. And uh, that's been in the Five Towns monochrome competition as well. So uh, yeah, it must've done okay to be in there. And another snapshot, same baby shoot, same baby. Um, again, I don't think it's been anywhere. That's an old, an old mount board. So again, that's not been anywhere, done anything. We've got one more proper section to have a look at. This is general, just a quick run through of general. Um, me playing in Manchester, trying to get something a bit different. Manchester, colour pop the yellow back in, done a, a motion blur to try and get something a bit different on the, on the tram. And uh, yeah, it did all right, I think. I think that's been in Interclub. Got me 11, that one did. Got me an 11, so it didn't do too bad. Probably a few years ago, it wouldn't do very well now. Um, this this has been in our local newspaper. This one a competition. Um, I actually created that. I saw the idea. I've got the idea off of Google. Created it, put two different rings and got a double heart. And if you notice, it's actually on the page in the dictionary with love. So you've got the, the um, meaning of love there. And that was actually published. A nice colourful image, something colourful. Been to the Bloom Festivals, done all that, blah, blah, blah. This is another popular area up in Manchester, the five bridges. You've got one, two, three, four, I think there's five bridges here. I think you can see five, um, somewhere around anyway. And again, not sure whether I've entered that one. Uh, old picture, this is a very old, back in the days when I used to mess around. I actually have my dinner on the middle of that, so a bit of an evening scape. This was fun, something a bit different, a bit of a fun image. <coughs> I was taking lots of pictures of the boxing guys and the tournaments and the competitions at the time. And I got a picture of Matea and when I was looking at the shadow on the wharf, well, that's really cool. It looks like he's fighting with himself. And I actually put the tail in, put him some horns on, turned him into the devil. It's almost like the devil is inside him trying to get out. Um, what else have we got? We have got this. I'm not sure if you've seen this before. I spent a little bit of time messing around with doing... Um, Star Trails, absolutely fantastic. Uh, Judge Judge was quite hard on this image, um, and you may agree, you may not. Uh, Star Trail was perfect, beautiful composition. Yeah, he really enjoyed the um, the clarity, the colours, the way I presented it, and everything else. But he said the the windmill was leaning. It was leaning in. Well, I'm not surprised. It was a mega wide angle lens, so I'm not surprised it was leaning in. But yeah, that's that's the hardness of it. Look at that for a snapshot. Uh, the competition was street. Um, I can't remember what the the actual competition was. This the judge enjoyed this. It caused a bit of a laugh. It was quite funny. Some old dude with his camera taking a picture for his sexy old lady. <laughs> um, so it did all right. And again, another general one. Just a, another area we've been. Took some general images. And the last one. We'll just show you these first just because it's another thing they do. Sometimes they do like a mix and a collage. So there's a collage of bikes. We've got a collage of horses and a collage of uh, me black and whites with me nice fancy mounts that I cut out myself. So uh, pretty good, isn't it? And I uh, thought this was a bit different. I threw it in front of a judge once and I said, uh, 
I can't remember, again, I can't remember what the competition was, but I threw it in front of the judge. And uh, if you're not recognising that, if you can't see it, I'll have to explain it to you. But you've got there a picture that looks like an eye, a picture that looks like a heart, which is love, and a picture that looks like a you. So you got, I love you. Threw him out completely. The judge didn't know what to do himself, didn't understand it until I explained it, and then he was blown away. So there you go, you see. Don't be too clever because judges aren't that clever. Right, uh, landscape. That one's just taken down the local down the road a bit of work went into this one um, not sure if I entered any competitions or not a bit of work went into this uh, took this lovely picture of the viaduct this was up near ribble head but it's not the ribble head viaduct and then I actually took the train off of a picture of the ribble head viaduct so I took the train off of another picture put the train on this picture just to get it to work because without the train on there it was boring but yeah what do you reckon of that so you can rate these, rate these uh, last few landscape photographs, all right? Because this is what I do, this is what you see me do now. So rate the landscape photographs and you tell me what you'd give that first one out of 10. And then you can tell me what you give each of these landscape photographs out of 10 for me. That'd be interesting in the comments below, wouldn't it? Um, the barracks, you've seen me, I've been up to Denora Quarry many, many, many times. Fantastically strong image, that really contrasty, really, really quite a punchy image. Um, maybe over processed a little bit. Uh, another place you've seen me go in several times, uh, Clindinas in Wales, in the Ogwen Valley. Again, not a bad little print, looks pretty good. Don't forget, rate it out of 10, tell me what you think. Uh, this image did quite well. Um, this was in uh, the Lake District. This was at Hodges Quarry. Um, you may know it by a different name, but I know it as Hodges Quarry. I just picked this tree out, made sure I got myself right far back, got the 200mm lens on to diffuse the background and it took me a long time to get myself in a position where this tree was just completely covered by the dark background because in different places it looked different um, so that really does stand out because I took a lot of time to set that composition up on that um, don't forget out of 10 what do you give it and this one another one out of 10 what do you think nice and soft we were away one Christmas um, Bit of a longer exposure. I've got it. Was it hand? No, it wasn't handheld. It was on a tripod, but it was a little bit of a longer exposure to get the nice water flow. Got this lovely soft muted background. It's quite a soft muted image. Uh, nothing fancy. Does it float me boat? No, I don't know. But let me know. Again, another one. Cracking landscape photograph. Absolutely love this. You've just seen me recently up there as well. This is over in uh, Glendudno, looking at the castle up on the hill. But look at the light on that. That day was an absolutely fantastic, beautiful light. Absolutely fantastic. And uh, last one, just another simple long exposure, centralised. I didn't put that on there. It is actually on there. And that scored me a 12 in interclub competition. So there you go. That's pretty much it. That's all the prints I've got lying around. Um, I've done other prints, but they're the ones I've got lying around. Like I say, this done very, very well for me. One of the one of the best images I've ever had. I got a commended for it um, in the interclubs. So it's it done pretty well. So yeah, that's that. That's my prints. That's what I was before a landscape photographer. I was into my interclub stuff and my club competitions. Uh, I've got myself a CPA GB. I'll go and find a certificate in a minute just so I can show you what it looks like. So uh, yeah, bear with me. I'll show you a couple of the awards and then uh, we'll get off. Right, I thought I'd just show you this just to uh, finish off. I wanted to show you that quickly because I've just found this in the pile. That's actually my little ribbon I got to go with that image. Um, that's where, that was me uh, commanded mono into the mist. There it is, it goes with that image. So that's, that's a set. That's quite an achievement when you get something like that. It's really quite nice. Um, these are my last clubman competition, I think. Uh, joint third place, uh, second place and first place uh, awards. We've got loads of stuff like that, but these are the ones that I just found in Protect This. There's my uh, award for photographic merit, my CPA GB. I also got a little metal badge with it and my score sheet as well. So, uh, yeah, pretty good. Um, if you're into stuff like that, these are worth looking at. When you go to the camera shows and you see these on the side, pick them up because inside these books, you will find some absolutely stunning, stunning photographs. Um, let's just have a quick look at something that stands out a bit obvious. People, because you saw lots of people. Um, you know, you've got people shots. I've just seen something that, you know, makes you jump out. Loads of people. They really do well. Um, but yeah, these will give you the insight to, to get into this. Look at some of these photographs in here. They're absolutely amazing. So to get to those high awards, these are the sort of things you need to, uh, to get into them. Um, and these are what we do in the, you know, in our local club competitions. We score them. So we've got 13, 18, 19. 
uh, 18s and 18s and 19s have all done well again look 18 19 19 got 17 17 19 19 so they've all done well um and then cpgb that's a, into club one so yeah everything's been scored you know you have to keep score of everything and and judge everything i'm also going to quickly show you this just before we go this is something else that i used to do it's all part and parcel of the same thing uh we'll keep that safe there i don't want to lose that um i used to do um a lot of event photography and this is one of these things if you if you do events or you want to try and get stuff published I've not had nothing for it, I've not been paid for this, was it with volunteer event photography. But when you get your photograph on the front page of your local paper, um, you know it's pretty it's pretty cool. And the town rag, you know, these are our photographs in the town rag. You don't know if you can see that on there, whether you can read it, Paul Compton Nantwich Event Photography. Um, and I've, I've kept everything. Um, there's another one of the town rag. These are my photographs that I've, I've got in there. Most of these are all mine and stuff like that. So, you know, when you actually do stuff for the for the town and local 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 areas, these are all newspaper clippings. Now, I don't want to bore you. I'm just trying to give you a bit of an insight of what I've done, where I've been, and how we've done it. You know, over the years, all these photographs are not just from me, but they're from my uh, helpers as well, from the Nantwich Events Photography Team. Um, I've had a few helpers over the years, so they're all mine. Like I said, in the local rag, these are all mine when I did the competition. Um, we've got stuff in the papers that goes back for years. Christmas, got Christmas photographs, some of mine, some of the others. Um, fireworks, they're actually my firework photographs in that one. Um, just loads and loads and loads. All of these have got clippings in and stuff. There's actually a picture of someone you might recognize. So let's just show you this. Do you recognize this person? She's actually, she's made it in the paper. Look at that, there she is there. Uh, yep, that's Mrs. C. She made it in the paper. Um, loads and loads of stuff we've done people and events um, other events that was that was quite a good one this was really quite a big one for us we went and done uh, car fest car fest northwest was it northwest car fest and we got uh, quite a lot of photographs in there um, met chris evans uh, we've got some top singers mel c um, Brian Adams and stuff like that and we were up there with them um, thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people in the crowds and we actually went and photographed that so uh, yeah that was pretty pretty cool we've actually met some quite famous people over the years uh, even down to near royalty um, what else have we got in here there's us that's where we've got our award you can see there me Denise and Pete helping us out when uh, Andrew was giving us our award um, for being an outstanding but you can see here I've got loads and loads of clippings. We've been in this paper so many times, it's almost boring now. But not boring, it's you know every time's a every time's a winner. Um but it, it's it becomes the same after a while. Um this was quite good. I was asked to take some photographs of the golf club, most of these in here are mine, and uh for thanks for doing it, I actually got my own uh double page spread. Let's just cover that up, we don't want my phone number everywhere, do we? Double, you know, page spread in there all about me. So that was quite nice to actually get that done. Um, and this is the most important one, I think, that everything we've been done. I said I've done a lot of sports photography, uh, not so many prints, but we've done some work for the, the British Superbikes and the uh, MSV. We've done a few years working with the MSV. They sort of made you covered our costs for getting down in the transport. Um, so at different um, racing circuits throughout Britain. And as you can see, all these little tags in here are photographs that we've taken and uh, We've got pictures of champagne, we've got pictures of people on the track. What we've got down here, we've got, let's find another one that's definitely mine, I know of. Oh, the fireworks was definitely mine, that one in there. This was mine, photograph there. You can see motorbike launching off the top of the, the mountain over at Cadwell. They use that in there. What else have we got that's definitely mine that we know of? Uh, yep, yeah, the fireworks and the signing, and Denise's as well. Denise's are in there because she used to help me out. Some of these are Denise's photographs, as you can see there and we've got loads more at the back that they've used of ours and this is this is massive you know these crowd pictures motorbike pictures you know to, to do stuff like this you don't just get asked every day that was ours and that was denise's there look at that what a winner that is if you can see that if it's in focus um spraying the champagne and throwing things out and this is a new fixtures guide and again some of our pictures are in there as well so it's absolutely fantastic to do stuff like that we don't do as much now because youtube's me life youtube is what i do um but yeah, we've been around the block a bit. We've sort of kind of uh, 
kind of sort of know what we're doing. Both me and Denise. Denise enters comp competitions now, and uh, she's doing all right in the competition this year in the Nantwich Club. She's, just, I think she's third, second or third in the digitals, so she's doing all right. So that's it. I'm going to get going now because that's been way longer than I was expecting it to be, um, but I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've been through it. Don't forget, score them one to ten, and just tell us what you think. Ask me any questions. If you've got any questions about how do you do to get into the event stuff, how do you get into this sport stuff, how to enter these competitions, you know, affiliations, stuff like that. I don't know a lot about it, but I'll point you in the right direction if I can. So if you've got any questions, got any, I'll answer what I can when I can. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Ciao for now. See you next time. Probably another one from indoors as well. Ciao.